Robot, this is Josh Tarns. Uh, my roommate also helped me too as well, Dan Wheaton. Want to say hi? Hey. What's up? All right, and um, been working all day on this um, smart saw water controller. Right now, all we've got worked, uh, worked up is the lights. So we have five relays hooked up right now. Everything's color-coded. Um, just for safety, everything's marked high voltage. It's 110, and these are all the uh, switching transistors, the TIP120 Darlingtons, and Easy B. Beyond that, we have uh, manual switches so that I can switch on any light, including the outside lights, um, the Chato light, things like that, manually. That way, if I just need to check something, I don't have to run upstairs and tell Easy B to do it. Now, um, we don't have any software hooked up to the Easy B right now. Okay, so what we're going to do is is just show you this works by flipping the switches. Okay, this is the first switch. This is going to be one of the large lights we have set up. That's money, and then the next one, there we go. And this is powered by the relays, you might be able to hear the clicking. There we go. All right, so that's what we got right now, and uh, we're going to hook up another, the 18K light too as well, um, this way, and the shader light, but we, we had to, che we had to uh, check everything. We did have a continuity problem on one of the wires from where we twisted them. By the way, you can take your wires and put them in the end of a drill, and uh, just start twisting. But if you twist too much, you might end up with an end that looks like this. And that will break on the inside. We found that out the hard way. Uh, but that's it. Have a great day.